Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Brawler. We are back here in Akhair where Rise here is going to tell us what our third challenge is. You risked your life to come here. I am happy that Kronach has given you a Femme Pine Punch, but I am surprised he has chosen you to begin the Rite of Klukoth. In ages past, each of the tribes selected a warrior to fight on his behalf in a ceremonial combat called the Klukoth. The victorious tribe was understood to become the leader of all the others until such time as another Klukoth was called. It has been many years since the last, during which the Trev du Verdain violated the laws of mercy required by the ceremony and slew our champion. North of Akhaira is a hilltop where the Klukoth has always been held. The place is called Fal Akro. Travel to Fal Akro, and when you reach it, you must turn northeast. After some distance, you will find a line of torches ascending another slope. Top the final slope lies the Cairn of Honor. Climb on top of the Cairn and retrieve the Stone of Klukath. And while I'm out there, I'm also to be collecting another stone, and that is the Stone Heart. That is going to be the key to getting past the Watching Stones. Follow the line of torches all the way up the hill. And we should be able to find a Duvodine Blood Dancer. That's what we're going to find. Oh, ah, uh, I, trouble is, I've got to, I've really got to rearrange my bars here. I have think I need to put my interrupt right over there, because if I don't, I'm going to keep on doing that, because my wardens, they have an interrupt right there, so I think of that, the left skill, the left skill, the right section as being an interrupt, and I keep on trying to click that in order to interrupt things when in the heat of the moment and I keep on fouling things up as a result and instead wind up removing a non-existent debuff that's on me which isn't good no it also isn't good as my ability to jump up here apparently <laughs> oh boy this all right Finally! The Stone of Klukoth! Yippee. Back into this place. Might as well take out a couple of sentries first, just to... See if I can get some pages. Then we'll... Take out the inevitable berserkers. And for this one... I mean, that one really takes the case, especially considering that I went in, charged already to give him a headbutt, and he still gets his off before I do. <sighs> Very annoying. Now, where were we? Yes, I want to head off to those people right there, and it's the berserkers that are really going to be the pain. Yeah. I have not even given it a chance to get started before they do that to me. They're rude. They are rude. Now I know why they don't get along with the Trav Galore. Let's see. Now, let's see. I think we start out with Z. With these guys. Hey! I finally got my punch in first. Alright, good. Yay. Now your turn. And I get this I get to fight the spirit too. Fine. I've got a stone heart now. Yay. Better make sure I give him the right stone. 
Trust does not come easily among the trade guild. You have the Stone of Klukas. It's now only a matter of time before the greatest warrior of the Trev Galorg will face the champion of the Trev Duverdan, and much will be decided. All right, in this case, what's going to be decided is which pair of pants I take, and that is... Well, I'll look at that later. It didn't look it very impressive. Since we have no peace. All right, you want me to speak with the others to decide? Oh, we're going to challenge some others. Let's have a challenge to see if I have the right... You do not truly know the difficulties we face. Well, <laughs> only the strongest deserve the honor of destroying the Trev du Verdain. Well, we'll see. Who is the strongest? Are you strong enough to face the truth of the day? Uh, perhaps. Well, that's one third of the way through the test. Next, we have... I really like doing these tests in threes. In this case, it's... Defeat three of the... Well, all right, except for the one where I had to actually pick up the stone. Iron Crown seeks to enslave us. He's... He's trying to lay it so that my metal will be down before he has a chance, before I have a chance to bring it up. Alright, that is two down. So just one more to best, and I'll be, well, the best. Now let's see, what do we... Oh, that's right, I think we have to go down dish away. All the way down for our third candidate. Where is she? Oh. I slightly miscalculated there. Ah, yes, I underestimated. Here she is. Let's see if you're able to com compete against... Complete your fam. Yeah, there we go. And that takes care of that. Back. Greetings, Saffron. So you defeated three of Hakair's mightiest warriors? There is one more among us that might be your equal, and you must face him last. Uh -huh, the secret opponent at the end. Would you lend me a moment of your time? Yes, your femme draws near to its fulfillment. There's one last warrior you must defeat, and you must prove that you have the mastery, and you'll fight for the Trev Galorg in Klukath. Right, your opponent will be Nekton, the son of the last warrior that was killed in the Klukath. All right, fine. Let's find Nekton. Actually, we also first need to talk to Coronir. I found the heart. How can I be of service? This is indeed a stone heart, but alas, the situation is more dire than I thought. Oh, what's wrong now? Hmm. How can I be of service? Nay, take this thing. I cannot bear it any longer. Uh, my apologies, friend, but the sense of this thing is too much likened to the terror of the Ramas Dwellon. I can't bear its presence, but... I know now the secret to the stones of the Ramas Dwellan. It is no spell that grants the statues the power, but the fell spirit of an elder age, such as those that inhabit the whites that serve Angmar. The stone heart was prepared to receive such a spirit. Perhaps this heart may be used to draw forth such a spirit from another shrine. It may be a clue in breaking the will of the Watching Stones. Take the Stone Heart to an ancient Watching Stone which stands in the eastern pass of Ramduath to the east of here, not far from Bailrova, the fortress of the Angrim. Alright, fine. I will take that there. Uh, but first, I have somebody I need to challenge. First, I'll challenge Nechthan. Then I'll challenge the stone. Here is Nechthan. Oh, there's also a warg here, though. Let's deal with the warg first. Then we will speak to Nechton. We we certainly don't need any unexpected surprises. 
fouling up our little ritual combat here, right? Right. You come at a perilous time. I have been too long in training here at New Wild Stranger, for I have heard not of your deeds. You have a femme to earn the right to do battle in the Kluklot? That's foolishness! The Treb Dunedain do not hold by the tenets of that right. Listen to one who knows of such things. I have honed my body to a nice edge so that I might exact my vengeance upon them and upon the Agmaran masters. I will not willingly stand by while you attempt to take my place in the Klukoth, unless you prove to have the mastery. We fight! If you deserve the honor of standing against the Trap to Divine, you must prove it to me that you are the stronger warrior. All right. Let's see what we have here. You are foolish to think to rob me of my vengeance! Well, sorry about that. Let's go on this. Your strength is great, but I remain unsatisfied. Vengeance upon a violator should be mine. All right, well, I'm sure she'll love to give you the opportunity. He's not completely satisfied. Trust does not come easily among the trade brotherhood. So you defeated Nekhtan and earned the right to face the Trev Galorg in Klukath against the Trev Dudadine. This is a chance for great honor, Sothron, and a chance to show our foes that the Trev Galorg are not to be dismissed so readily. Right, and I get some armor in return for that. Okay. There are many urgent matters to discuss. The time of Klukat is almost upon us, and you must prepare to do battle yourself, so I need to get some advice. Alright, so let's see. Some advice. What advice do you have? Will you be soldier in here? I should have known that you helped against the wargs that came to Fosakalaran that you'll be in great honor to the Trev Galorg. Our great warrior, Nassan, met a ver in the Trev Duverdine as the sun rose in Falakor. For a time, everything seemed to be as it should. First, a ver had the mastery, and then Nassan took the advantage. But as the Glukath drew on, the chieftain of the Trev Duverdine, Domogart, became restless. Next to him sat two strangers, men of Khardum, it is thought. Dormagoth suddenly rose to his feet and gave forth a tremendous cry. A prearranged signal, perhaps? Nissan's attention was diverted, and at that moment, Avair knocked him onto the ground. The Klukath was over, but Dormagoth was not satisfied, and he demanded that Avair slay her helpless foe. This she did, and it is, was clear that the Treb Duverdine our kin of old were hopelessly corrupted. Well then, and that is why his son wants revenge against Alvair. All right, very well. But of course, the question is, whom are we supposed to face? Any advice for the Klukoth? Greetings, Safran. Hmm. The warrior who slew Nassan and Sully the Right is named Aver, and she is a master of the bloodied arts. She has stained many of our people in the years since the last Glukath, and her name strikes fear into the hearts of all but Nekhan, who has sworn to end her. Normagoth, leader of the Trev Duverdine, surely thinks that Nekhan will be our warrior. He may put forth a ver in the hope that Nekhan will be blinded in rage and he be easily defeated. It's difficult to say, and there are others. For example, Drosten is fierce, but his most recent battle ended in a cowardly retreat. He fought with Fongala from for one day and one night before he escaped. He favors fighting from a distance, and fears the dangers of standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with an opponent. He is surely hunting for the chance to redeem his honor. Uh, perhaps I haven't been too much help for you after all. Wonderful. And I need to speak with Tazgal. And we all know where Tazgal is. Probably back near where those hillbeasts are. 
Any advice for the Ku Klux? The hills of Amar are not friendly to the unwary. You have been chosen as a warrior for the Ku Klux. I'm frozen with amazement. I believe the death of Nassan and the betrayal of the true Devdine had ended that right. You defeated Nikhan in single combat? Hmm. He can't have been pleased with that. If Aver is chosen as the warrior of the Trev Duverdine, Nechthan will see it as a lost opportunity to avenge himself upon his father's murderer. I have carved a small figure onto this tooth of Muragroth, and I would like you to have it. Carry it among your belongings. Perhaps it will bring you fortune in the trials ahead. All right. I shall do that. Now... I wonder if I should have a little talk with Nixhal before this battle. You have any advice for me on the battle? The three Duverdine have gone too far. Have you returned to gloat that you were chosen as the warrior to fight in the Klukoth? <sighs> I'm sorry. I see the wisdom in it, though it is hard. It is the way of my people that the strongest warrior should take the heaviest load, and you have proven yourself the master. I must put the knees of the Trev Galorg before my own vengeance. Tell Wrythe, as Cranach's ruling seat, that I am at ease. Go forth to the Klukoth. Thank you. And hopefully you'll have a chance someday to get your vengeance. I have come to an understanding with Nechthan for now. I do not know what will become of my people. Hmm. Well, that is good, Fine Punch. I know now that I only bleed before. Cranach was right to give you this femme. You truly are a friend of the Trev Galorg. All right, and now, without this. Trash does not come easily among the Trev Galorg. <laughs> Yes, let's start the battle. The free hillmen of Trave Galorg have long been in conflict with many of their sister tribes. Now they prepare again to face the Trave Duverdain in the Rite of Klukath, a ceremonial rite of judgment. You are a stranger to these lands. We are almost at File Hakral. We just have to climb this hill. Up, 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 up up and brawl them away an archer and a sorceress oh wonderful what a great choice I made here uh, let's see what we've got we have arrived and before the Trev Duvardin hmm. wait they approach yeah here they come Fine Punch is the warrior who took the Stone of Klukoth from the Cairn of Honor. I know all about the Southron Kredog, and I'm not impressed. Our friends in Khartoum will crunch you at the slightest word. The Trebdud Rhine do not need to respond to your invocation of Klukoth. You are frightened of us. Kana, be still. I am no coward. I do not shy from your feeble protestations. We'll have cool cloth, but with two changes. There will be two warriors. Both Drostan and Avire will fight for the Trevgal. Pine Punch, this is a trap. Drostan and Avire together? What's your second demand? The combat will be to the death. The Trev Duverdine do not engage in mock battles of children. <sighs> we accept. Fine Punch will fight for the Trev Galorg. I will get help, Chieftain. Oh, here we go. I thought about what you said to me, Pine Punch, and I have reached a decision. Pride must not blind me to your friendship. I will stand by you on this and defend it as I may. So be it. 
Drill stun! A fire! Kill them! Well, that's... Well, well, we'll take care of the PvP person. Allow him a chance to get his revenge. Here you go. Now it's your turn. A fire. Finish me, you coward! You're spineless! I seen that my choice was wrong. Well, kill them! Uh, no. So that's his revenge, is not to kill her. <laughs> Let them keep their lives. The Trev Galorg show mercy, even to you and yours, Domogart. That you're weak and deserve their company. I no longer count a fire or drillstun among the Trev Duvadine and strip them of their names. Trask does not go easily among the Trev Galorg. The Trev Galorg are triumphant. You have brought victory at Father Crow. All right, good. So ends the Klukoth. At last we have been redeemed, Pine Punch, and have triumphed over the Trev Duvidine and their angry masters. Nassan has been avenged, and Dormagart has paid for his betrayals. He who was called Drolstan has come to join the Trev Galorg, but his name is lost. He will be known henceforth as Sotach, he who is changed. She who is called a fire did not accept this choice. She is now neither Trev Galorg nor Trev Duverdine, and she has done much evil and has only seen that in others. Though Nekthine might have forgiven her past, I feel she could not. She wanders now in the trackless lands, a woman with neither name nor home. Though I have a feeling we are going to run into her again. There are many urgent matters to discuss. Some other day. Now that that's over, I have a spirit to face. Here is the watchstone from which I'm to attract a spirit. Hello! Yeah, there it is. That's the spirit. There you go. No trouble at all. Done. How can I be of service? You have vanquished the spirit? How your victory heartens me, Pine Punch. It gives me hope that we may yet succeed. Well, that's good. Perhaps this gives me hope of finding something that is useful here. How can I be of service? And with that, we'll call that the end of my time in Ogmar. And return next time, I think it's time for us to head into the Wildwood here in Piney Plays the Brawler.